Hello, it is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday crossword today, which means we should still be in store for a fairly approachable early week themed crossword. And this early week themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, Alex, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are, of course, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, meaning they sustain this whole thing, keep it going. Um, the Patreon is how this channel survives. So thank you to everybody who contributes to it in any capacity. I really do appreciate that. And if you'd like to do so yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. There, of course, you can find the bonus videos available to patrons, such as the recent Boss Words Fall Themeless League series, the um, mini puzzle pseudo weekly speed solves and so on. And um, I really do appreciate your support. So thank you. And there's also the Daily Solve. Let's check the Cross's official mug for benefactors up there. Um, also, if you've subscribed to the channel or liked the videos, commented, any of those things, that's also a big help. So do consider doing those. Thanks if you have. And finally, there's the Daily Solve uh, official Discord server, which can be joined via a description field link as well. There's a nice friendly chat community over there. So check it out. All right. Let's get on to the crossword. We have yet another debut today. We've had so many of these recently. This one is by Matthew Linzer. So welcome to him. It's a Tuesday themed crossword, we presume. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. See what's in store for us today. Word after head or heart. Well, my, I know. Head. I keep thinking of things that only work for one, and they almost feel like they work for the other, but they don't. Um, ache, maybe? Headache or heartache? 24-hour banking conveniences. That would be ATM. Yeah, okay, so probably, no, not arms, but rather ATMs, automated teller machines. So this probably is ache, then. Let's check the crosses. Fail without to uh, conk out or to crap out, maybe? Um, QB's call, quarterback's call. Oh, I don't know, <laughs> actually. Believe it or not, I don't know that. Uh, C-suite roles, uh, execs. So the C-suite meaning the um, chief executive officer, chief financial officer, and so on. Cereal for kids with a silly rabbit. Tricks is for kids, as the as the ads say. And what to do... Oh, right, okay, here's our theme. What to do when you see... Oh, and then I see it's, it continues on. What to do when you see the streaker in the night, the stray bit on your face... This insect crawling by, this on a clock, this just before you blow on the seeds. Wow, okay. Well, we'll oops, we'll just have to see what's involved with that. I don't I don't yet know. Okay, so blueprint info would be specs, specifications. So this is this is crap out, that is to fail. Okay. And then a QB's call. Oh, hike. Is that is that what they say? And then they sort of throw the ball backwards. Sorry for my horrible vocabulary around this. Um, so what to do when you see make a face? I mean, if you see various things, you could make different faces of sort of surprise or fear or disgust or whatever, maybe. Blank Wednesday. Okay, it could be Ash Wednesday, the uh, holiday related to Easter. And then let's see, Hem's counterpart. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Oh, it's make a way. Oh, are these all... Are these all things associated with suspicions around making a wish? That must be what this is. Make a wish. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. So the streaker in the night is going to be a shooting star, for instance. Uh, right. Okay. I see. So he anyway, hem's counterpart. This is not hem as in the hem of a garment, a, a bit of clothing, but rather to hem and to haw, to, um, to dither and delay. Prefix with dent could be trident, maybe? No, this doesn't look... Oh, no, it does look right. I was going to say HT wouldn't go together, but they do in this initialism. Web designer's code would be HTML, which I think is a hypertext markup language. So there we go. A blunder could be a mistake, probably. And Christine of Chicago Hope. Well, I've never seen Chicago Hope, but I've at least heard of Christine Lottie. Probably... Honestly, mainly through the crossword. She, she used to come up quite a lot, actually. 
Diva's solo would be an aria. So here we have a song for a featured singer in an opera. And then remove as paint from a wood. Oh, right. This isn't a mistake. It's something else because you would strip paint from wood. So this is a blunder is a misstep. There we go. That's what it is. And that's actually a bit better than mistake. A mistake could happen in all kinds of technical ways, but a blunder and a misstep both have a an era of sort of, um, uh, and sort of, uh, I don't know, complete accidental. They, they both sound accidental, whereas a mistake could be something sort of precise and intentional, but still wrong. Okay, I see you staffers would be RNs, registered nurses. And this streaker in the night is indeed a shooting star, I think we can safely say. Flowers predominantly used in Indian weddings. Um, interesting. Marigolds? What about this one? George or Marty of Back to the Future? Oh, right. Marty McFly is the character from that film. So there we go. Football units, abbreviation, um, are yards, I would think. And then winning... Um, don't immediately see that for some reason. Frolics could be romps, maybe. You have a bit of a frolic, a bit of a romp. And kids seat on Santa, so kids could sit on Santa's lap. Winning, you're ahead. There we go. Okay. And then counterpart of masculine would be feminine, and it's abbreviated in the same way masculine is there. Uh, Chinese-American dish, chop suey. I don't actually think I've ever encountered chop suey. Um... I mean, I've, I've certainly, the name is sort of ubiquitous, but I don't know that I've ever actually ordered or eaten it. Long-running hip-hop magazine with the... Mm, I don't know the sounds, maybe? I'm not sure. Like indigenous affairs. Tribal? Maybe? So the... Let's, well, let's check the crosses on that. German camera bread. Leica? Um, that I'm pretty confident about. So to blame someone would be to accuse them. Oh, source, the source. I have heard of this magazine. Yes. Okay. There we go. And then blank national airport serving DC Reagan national airport is one of the, um, one of the Washington DC airports. Okay. Man's name hidden in bottlenecks. So Len straightforwardly enough is, is hidden inside the word bottlenecks. It's an easy one. And then mad as a hatter, as they say, which I I actually don't know. Does that come from the character of the Mad Hatter in from, from Lewis Carroll, or is the character of the Mad Hatter created because of that pre-existing saying? I don't know the answer to that. It'll be one of the two, but I'm I'm curious as to which. Okay. Anyway, you make a wish if you see a ladybug crawling by. So there we go. We have another superstition. And lingerie material, lingerie, uh, lingerie material could be lace. You could have lacy lingerie. lingerie. Why, what am I doing with that word that, <laughs> that I'm suddenly having, mixing up all the um, syllables? I don't know. Anyway, uh, here we have Tel Aviv, the city. And Dallas Five to fans would be Mavs, the Mavericks, the uh, basketball team. And then here in Le Havre would be uh, EC. So Le Havre, the, the, um, I thought that was The Hague. Is it not? Am I completely wrong about that? I probably am. Anyway, EC is French for here. So there we have it. Uh, car expense that's often reimbursable. Um, mileage. Um, uh, I guess in a, in a work, in a sort of work context, if you are traveling for work, you get your mileage reimbursed, I suppose. And then Vietnam's Nguyen Van Tu after 1975. Um, in exile or exile, exile, an ex, oh, okay, right. So was an exile because he was in exile, I suppose. Is, is what that means. So I was thinking sort of exiled, but no. Singer, songwriter, DeFranco, Annie DeFranco, I certainly know. Uh, this on a clock. 
Oh, right. Okay. Something 11. Do I actually know this superstition? Is it 1111? Is that a... I'd, I'm guessing that's what this is. I don't think I knew that was a superstition, but, but there you go. I guess you make a wish at 1111. All right. Native of Nevada's largest city, a Las, Las Vegan, I guess. Surely that is Las, uh, Nevada's largest city. This stray bit on your face. Right. Do I know what that is? I don't think I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see if I recognize it when it comes in. If one has title to something, one owns it. And then I like that a lot. Ooh. <laughs> what about this? Deep grief. Okay, well, it is an O because deep grief is woe, sorrow. And then I like that a lot. Maybe it is just four O's. That would be funny. Rows number 13 to 16 in a theater. Um, I haven't a clue what that's getting at. Um, is there some sort of term theater terminology that I don't know about? Probably. Okay. So the straight, oh, an eyelash. I do know this. Yes. Yes. A loose eyelash on your face. You sort of, you know, take it off and you make a wish. Okay. I don't know what the source of that superstition is. Little laugh. Teehee, I suppose. Howdy, folks. Hi, hi, y'all. Okay, there we go. And as is so often the case, the tone of this clue matches the tone of the answer. So howdy, folks. Hi, y'all. They have the same kind of, same kind of tone. Garment for a tiny tot. A onesie? Yeah, there we go. That would be it. And here we have, nevertheless, though, so once again, we're matching because these are both contracted versions of the full phrase, nevertheless contracted to nevertheless and uh, T-H-O-U-G-H contracted to T-H-O. Okay, dives into has at, you, if you have at something, you sort of dig into it, you embark upon it. Things th uh, that might have kids going off on a tangent, math exams, I guess, right, because a uh, Tangent is a, a geometrical concept. And then, oh, M-N-O-P. <laughs> okay, right, I see. So if the rows, right, the rows are, are labeled A, B, C, D, E rather than 1, 2, 3, 4 because the seats are labeled with the numbers. So these are the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th rows. I see, okay, it was simpler than I was making it. And then I like that a lot is indeed simply, ooh. Okay, a respected sort could be an elder. Christmas Eve is a holiday. It's the truth, no lie. Challenge for a speech coach. A lisp, perhaps, would be uh, something to work on with a speech coach, maybe. Missing could be a wall, maybe, um, or gone. Less likely to be a wall, just because it's not the the clue gives no indication of an abbreviation. So let's see. Oh, it is gone because the river through three of the 10 largest cities of Russia is the Volga. So there we go. Okay. So missing is gone. Poker buy-in would be an ante. And then we filled these in. So that isn't funny, you might say, unamused. And then fencing weapon would be an epe, the fencing sword. Uh, here we have a dandelion just before you blow on the seeds. Okay. There we go. Another, another opportunity to make a wish. And a silent greeting could be a nod to somebody. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms in brief could be the DTs. Um, what is that? Del uh, delirium tremens, I think. Um, withdrawal symptom. And then rare achievement in entertainment. An EGOT, the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, the major uh, American performing arts awards. And then Garnet and Ruby are both shades of red, so reds, simply enough. Oops. Block stacking game, of course, is Jenga. You build a, a precarious tower, and then, well, I guess you dismantle a tower precariously, more accurately. Uh, starting lineup is the A-team, I suppose. Oops. And signs of ex exhaustion could be leans, maybe? You lean against something because you're exhausted? No, it's not that. Oh, no, it's yawns, of course. It's much more obvious. A blue bird could be a J as in a blue J. And then uh, GPS prediction would be estimated time of arrival, ETA. 
And finally, something hot off the press is new, and that is the crossword. So there we go, a a luck filled crossword. Hopefully, we've had you've, we've had quite a few opportunities described to make a wish um, when you see a shooting star, when you um, see a stray eyelash on your face, when you see a ladybug crawling by, when you see 1111 on a clock face, or when you see a dandelion just before you blow on the seeds. These are all moments when you may desire to make a wish. Um, I don't know the traditions behind most of these, I must admit. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that what I should say is I don't know the origin of most of these. Uh, it'd be an, an, an interesting thing to uh, to research, I suppose. Um, and there we have it. I think I think a fairly fairly gentle Tuesday puzzle. I do think it was. Uh, I think it maybe gave me slightly more trouble than yesterday's, which would make sense. It's a Tuesday after all. Um, but there we go. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the midweek mid difficulty Wednesday crossword. So do join me for that. But until then. Please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. <laughs>